So here we are, I've finished depatching this image and remembering to make sure that I've depatched not only these areas here, which I need to subtract from my selection, the insides of the arms here, there and here, but also remembering this little gap right here between the ankles. And if I zoom in on the hair, you can see that the path that I've created ignores the hair here and just follows the, the line of the wrist because we, we don't need to depatch the hair because we're going to be using a hair masking technique a little bit later on to include that into our selection. And as you can see, the path then continues on from the fingers and then goes a nice safe distance inside from the hairline. And then here it reconnects and follows along nice and tight just a couple of pixels in from the outside of the body. Command zero to fit to window. So let's say you want to make an alteration to this path and you need to either add some points or subtract some points. So if you want to add or subtract some points, then option click on your mask and it'll bring up all your individual little points here. And although under your pen tool here, you have the option of selecting an add anchor point or delete anchor point tool, you don't really need those because if I'm to if I zoom in on this path, option click to bring up my points, and you'll notice that if I hover over a point, I get a little minus symbol automatically on my pen tool. And so if I click on it, it'll subtract that point. And if I then hover over a piece of the path which doesn't have an anchor point, automatically I get a tiny little plus symbol, which is what I can use to add a point. So I just have to click on anywhere on this path where there isn't already a point and it adds a point. And if I just want to select that one point alone, I'll click off the path, click back on it again, holding down the command key, I'll click and drag over that area, and just that one point is selected. And then I can just hold down the command key and move just that point alone by itself, like so, and move it exactly into the position that I want, just like that. Command zero to fit to window. Now we are going to make an alteration to this path because in my next tutorial, I'm going to do a little bit of tricky body reconstruction. And for it, I just need a depatch just of the arm itself and the fingers and the hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate path one by dragging it down to my new path icon just down there. There's path one copy. And this is the path that I'm going to alter. I'm going to keep path one just in case I may need it a little bit later on. But I'm going to alter path the path one copy. So I need to delete a whole bunch of points. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the command key, click and drag over all the points that I don't need. So I'm going to delete that section there, command click and drag over this section. So those points are selected, hit delete, and do the same all the way up to here and hit delete. I'll zoom in a little closer, delete that point there. And I need to delete this section of the waist here delete those points, those points, and that, little, that one point right there. Now what I'm going to do is just continue this path around and deep etch around the fingers. So I'll zoom right in at the end of this point here. This, the, the path is heading off in the wrong direction here. So I'm going to command, click and drag, get rid of that point at the end there. Option, click and drag from this, this point to bring out my handle. Command minus to pan out a little bit. And now I'll start depatching these fingers. And now I need to bring this path around, join this path around the shoulder. So I'll zoom right in. Option click and drag at the end here to drag out my handle. And continue the path down until it joins up. Oh, I must get rid of this little point here. So I'll command click and drag to select it, hit delete. Option click and drag to continue my path again. And there we are, the path is closed. Command zero to fit to window. And now we have our two paths. The second of which, the one of the arm here, which I'll just rename. I'm going to be using in the next tutorial, showing some advanced body reconstruction techniques.